If your faucet has handles instead of knobs, I added a note at the end of the video to help you out. Here's the before. And here's the after. These are the tools you'll need. Two screwdrivers, a pair of pliers, and some plumber's grease. These are nice to have tools. First step will be to turn off the valves underneath your sink. We can use the cap and one of the rags to plug both holes to make sure we don't lose any of the screws. I'll use a small flathead screwdriver to pop off the cap. I'll use the Phillips screwdriver to remove the handle screw. Now this should just pull off. The pliers to remove this big nut. Slowly. All right. There's the valve. My o-ring is fine, so I won't need to replace it. Take one of the rags and remove the water that's in here. Now that you're there, you can clean up all around. Since you don't get to see this part very often. And I'll add a little bit of plumber's grease, which is silicone lubricant. That should be enough. I'm not going to over tighten this because it's sitting right on the piece of plastic so maybe just a little bit might as well wash this while we're here Test. Seems like it works. I'll turn on the water valves again. Perfect. I'll include a link in the description for the plumber's grease. I couldn't find the exact same one, but the one I found is in a tube and it's a bit more practical. Thanks for watching. And don't forget to call your mom. If you have handles like this, you can see on the side here there's a little rubber cap. And behind that rubber cap, there's a small Allen key screw. If you remove that, it allows you to remove the, the handle. Underneath is the same thing as in the kitchen.